MCAT 2015 CREM Physical Foundations Question Tension in a Tire Swing Rope All right. A 30 kilogram child is swinging on a tire and at the highest point of the swing, the child reaches a height that makes the rope produce an angle of 45 degrees. Okay. What is the tension in the rope at the peak of the swing? So at this peak, what's the tension? Is it going to be A, zero newtons, B, 150 radical two newtons, C, 300 radical two newtons, or D, 300 newtons? Mathematically, this problem is relatively easy to solve. It just takes a little bit of conceptual understanding to set up the uh, proper equation. So think about this and press pause if you need to. I'll give you a moment to think. All right. Okay, so in this scenario, the swing is acting as a simple pendulum and the tension is acting against gravity. So since the swing is periodic in motion and the tension in the rope would be greatest, let's say at the bottom of the pendulum, around here when the child is right here, um, this is also when the swing is at the highest speed. So this is a conceptual thing you have to understand that the swing is periodic in motion and the tension in the rope would be greatest at the bottom of the period. All right, so to calculate the tension, we would need to use um, T equals the mg cosine of theta, where the tension is produced by the weight of the child represented as mg, m standing for mass, which in this case is 30 kilograms, and g, which is 9.8, meters per second squared, but we're going to eventually approximate it at 10 meters per second squared. Okay, so, and we're using the cosine of theta rather than the sine because um, we're essentially looking for the vertical component when the child is at the bottom of the swing. That's going to give us the greatest tension. And um, the leg that's adjacent to the 45 degree angle form by the peak in the swing is 45 degrees. Um, I, I just made no sense. Okay, so the vertical leg is adjacent. So therefore that's why we're adjusting it by the cosine rather than the sine. The sine would be the adjustment for the opposite horizontal leg. But even if you were to mess up, the nice thing about 45 degrees is that it's cosine and sine are equivalent in magnitude, okay? All right, so let's continue. So therefore, the tension represented by T equals 30 kilograms, that's what 30 stands for, times 10, 10 being uh, the approximation for gravity, 10 meters per second squared, although it's really 9.8 meters per second squared, times the cosine of theta, and theta here is 45 degrees, okay? Here goes our 45 degrees. So this simplifies to 300 times the cosine of one over radical two. And a lot of you may not be familiar with this form of the cosine of 45 degrees, but what you have to remember to do is rationalize the denominator because in the world of math, we don't like to have irrational numbers in the denominator. And the reason why radical two is an irrational number is that when you evaluate the square root of two, you get a decimal that continues on and on forever. It doesn't repeat. So what we do to rationalize the denominator is multiply by radical two in the denominator and radical two in the denominator, in the numerator, not the denominator again. So this becomes a uh, radical two over two. I'll show you what I mean. So when we multiply by radical two in the numerator, we multiply one by radical two, we get a radical two in the numerator. 
And when we multiply by a radical 2 in the denominator, what we're essentially doing is squaring a radical 2. So we just eliminate the square root or radical sign and we get 2. Okay? So that's that. So this simplifies to 300 over radical 2. I'm still, I still haven't shown the, rad, uh, the rationalization here, but now we're about to do that. And then this is going to become 150 times radical 2 newtons after we rationalize the denominator, okay? Because this 2 that I drew here will cancel out uh, with the 300, and 300 simplifies to 150. So the correct answer choice is going to be um, B, 150 times radical 2 newtons. Now, this problem might seem a little hairy and might not sit so well with a lot of people. Um, the main confusion comes in the wording where they ask for the peak. And peak um, tension is basically, I'm not sure how to describe it in words, but just know that we're looking uh, for the highest amount of tension.